Welcome back guys, we're headed to Scotland Yard. We have analyzed samples of dirt. We know a particular location that the victim was in at least some point before the murder. And he never washed his hands, ever. So the murder victim is the archeologist? Yes. Still haven't gotten that straight yet. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, so no. many police! <laughs> so many police! Hello, police. Hello. Poli what should Wait. we do next? There aren't actually that many police here. <laughs> Hello, police. Good night to you, Mr. Holmes. Hello, police. Mr. Holmes? Hello, police. Oh, here's all the people's belongings. Mm. I should check them before I talk to them, right? Yeah, dude, let's do it. All right, starting with the, the, the guy, guy who looked kind of Asian. Did it. An yeah. embroidered silk handkerchief. RP, that's Rodney. Danger. No. Yeah. A fountain pen with solid gold trim. Oh. Ah! He's the manager. Okay. So Gregory Pitkins' visiting card. And his name is Gregory Pitkins. Why does he have a handkerchief that's engraved with an RP? It has his first In addition, name. why er, is it name. that the manager of the Roman bath needs a visiting card? What the fuck's a visiting card? Or, okay, this is... Maybe it's just like a business card. The manager of the Strand Lane London is like who authorizes his visiting. So he is not the manager. Old fashioned way of saying business card. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wow. Why would they, I don't get it, visiting card. It's a card you present when you go to visit someone? Sure. A file with herbs. Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? It's the St. John's wart flower, Holmes. It's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. However, an overdosage might lead to a rash or even hallucinations. When Garrow found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. Sir Gregory Pitkin, wait a minute, manager to Mr. Blinkhorn, and that's the guy you think did it. Yep. Bearded man. Yeah. Dear sir, the interests that I represent require the situation at the baths to be changed for the better. At the present time, the Frigidarium excavations remain under your direction, and yet works have not progressed. You have failed to find anything of value, and we are unable to make the Frigidarium accessible to the public. The Frigidarium is a valuable asset in the rec recreation of the Roman bath experience. I urge you to complete your work within the next two months. You have this remaining time to conclude your archaeological research and to find yourself another workplace. So, it's possible that the archaeological excavation was inhibiting the opening of the bath? Mm -hmm. So he has motive to have killed the archaeologist to get him moving along. So I guess... Does that mean that Blinkhorn is an assistant to the victim? How do you find profiles? There they are. Oh, we don't get to see them until we go uh, talk to them. Some of them. Okay. An ordinary pencil. Blinkhorn was the archaeologist working on the bass before Bentcliffe. Oh, so he would have motivation because he's being upstaged. This yes. ring was most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed it before entering the steam room. An Egyptian symbol. It is a very old jewel. That's cool. 
My precious. I see the joy. This ring was repaired, and quite badly, too, with silver. Why on earth would they wear such a ring? A very pertinent question. An old and rather dirty coin. A hand-drawn map. Useless. Not needed. Rodney Bentcliffe's notebook. It may contain something of interest. The last pages were torn out. We Classic. must find a way of retrieving Sir Rodney's last lines. Watson, please prevent anyone from entering the room. But first, fetch me a pencil. There is one right beside you. To begin with, a few strokes of the pencil will yeah. be enough. I don't want to damage the traces. It's easier to do it with charcoal. So poorly done. Come on. Uh, today. And I then to gently it. smudge the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. I'm sure that Watson won't mind if I use his. <laughs> oh, man. I almost found it. This state will go down in history. Watson, you've got something on your face. Mr. Here, Holmes, use this. The coroner, <laughs> what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence. I prefer to make them talk. Today, I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. Who's this room? I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the body now. I am sure that you must, Constable. <laughs> well, <laughs> you do have a point. Damn it. Sir Rodney Bencliffe, age 63. That body didn't look 63 years old. The right yeah. eyeball has been burst, pierced to the hilt by a curved bladed knife. The blade cut through the orbit of the frontal lobe, ripping a part of the frontal lobe with the corpus callosum, callosum, after which completing its trajectory in the cerebellum caused hemorrhagic, hemor, hemor, hemorrhage, hemorrhagic, hemorrhagic? Hemorrhagic lesions? Lesions? I don't know how to pronounce that. All these injuries led directly to the death of the individual. At the upper lobe of the right lung, there was an old injury filled with an amount of mucus and ciliated debris that may correspond to the chronic infection by elements in, likely inhaled by a in a burial chamber, a decaying mummy, for example, or a dried and decomposing food product intended to accompany the deceased in their grave. Ew. The remainder of the body does not appear to have been damaged. Hmm. Lampshade. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard anybody use that word. I've heard people say hemorrhaged or hemorrhage. Hemorrhage, hemorrhaged, but hemorrhagic? Hemorrhagic? Hemorrhagic. Hemorrhage lesions. Locked. Let's go look at the body. Mm -hmm. So it was curved. Yeah. What the hell? Someone has stabbed him in the chest and the tummy. Seems that we have two other possibilities of death. The coroner observed mm -hmm. no stomach nor liver disease if we're to accept that Sir Rodney was an occasional drinker and 63 years of age. According to the coroner, there were no cardiac problems nor lung congestion, 
But there were traces of fungus, possibly contracted from the Egyptian tombs. An unusual wound, inflicted by a curved knife, which resulted in instant death, as the coroner's report says. Whoa! Yikes! Jesus! That's cool. Yeah. Some light bruising caused by a rope. Huh. The bruising is in lines. They were caused by a rope around the waist. So Rodney was descending somewhere. Shouldn't that have been in the report? Yeah, dude. That was really cool how they made it like flop. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. I guess that's it. So those don't necessarily mean that it was a cause of death, it was just mm -hmm. the rope that was doing something. So when was the time of death? We don't know. We know that they went in at 6. Correspondence was sent at 7.30. Whenever we got there, he had a meeting at 9. These are all AM? 9 o'clock? 9. Yeah. Um, and whenever we found the body, it had only been, he had only been dead for like 30 minutes or less. But I, I don't know what time we got there. Good day to you, Mr. Holmes. Hello, there he is. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, Sir Gregory. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder that took place this morning. Would you mind answering a few questions? Tell me, Mr. Holmes, will I need to stay here for very much longer? Easy there, fancy suit. Aristocratic brutes, man of wealth, something above arrogant look. Is it his nose? If that's something lit up there. He can't help that. It's just the shape of his mouth. You are the manager of the baths, is that correct? Yes. I'm passionate about archaeology. I wanted to restore the ruins. My ambition is to open the baths to the public. Living archaeology can be a profitable business, although now I'm not so sure. I see. When do you wish to begin using the baths? When the archaeological researches are over, I will be free to complete the restoration. It is the usual process. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney Bentcliffe? We were not particularly close. He had an unpleasant temperament. Suspicious, authoritarian, unkind. People possessed by genius may be forgiven for their nature, but not by me. Was he obstructive? Not at all. Everything he did led us to greater success. He helped us increase the potential of the building. Please tell me what happened this morning. The test that we performed this morning was a success. The steam was working well. And then, of course, that awful murder. What did you see? The steam was too thick to see anything. But ask Garrow. He saw the body first. Hmm. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Look, I'm not a suspicious fellow, but I think that he had professional interests elsewhere that he did not wish us to know about. Why should you think that? Where? 
I have no idea. But after all, it was not my business. Did you bring a bottle of champagne to the baths? Absolutely not. Sir Rodney did, I think. How was the work progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather slowly, I would say. Pitkin's letter? Did Pitkin's letter say? His letter said that things were going too slowly. To the guy I think did it. You're useless, Watson. Sir Gregory, could you please explain this letter? You expressed the wish to call off the research work at the baths. It was all about Blinkhorn. He was merrily digging away and taking very little care about it, ruining everything and finding nothing of any value. But the arrival of Sir Rodney changed your mind? Sir Rodney's work was extremely promising, and it was good for the baths' publicity. So yes, I changed my mind. Hmm. Are you aware that Mr. Garrow is under a form of medication? Garrow? No. But I never liked that parasite. Do you believe him to be capable of murder? Well, he did have blood on him. Does that make him a murderer? What's Garrow's relationship to the whole dig? I have no idea what his relationship is. And... Who called for the press conference? Uh, the guy who died. Okay. Sir Rodney. Some melted silver was found inside the steam room brazier. Do you know where it came from? Silver? No. Please escort this suspect for mm. interrogation. Mm. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Not at all, Mr. Holmes. Uh, my name is Percival Blinkhorn. P B. Oh. You think he did it now? Peanut butter. Yeah. He's all polite. Yeah, he did it. Hmm. Attractive. Attentive. Uh, not wrinkled. Not wealthy. Um. Recent earthwork. Oh, come, the last one. <laughs> no. Calluses. Calluses. You got it. I was close. There's a C and a U. What this man works for a living. I'm an archaeologist specializing in the Roman period. <gasps> I'm working totally on several did excavation it. sites at present, including the baths at Strand Lane. Fuck, hmm. you did it so Can hard. you tell me more about the baths? Well, we're hoping to retrieve a great many interesting artifacts from the site and to list any items of value before their eventual restoration and exhibition. And has it been successful? It has, thanks to Sir Rodney. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney? Well, I couldn't say that he was a kind man, no. Uh, but he was talented. I felt a great admiration for him, I, I must say. Was it your first collaboration? I had met Sir Rodney briefly once in Egypt, and I'd shared my researches with him. Uh, surprisingly, my work did convince him to come here. He arrived only a couple of months ago. Surprisingly? Well, Sir Rodney is, uh, was, uh, God, a cold man, and so very secretive, too. But I learned so much from him. I can't believe that he's dead. He's convinced me he's innocent. No. Nope. Can you tell me what you saw today? Well, we entered the steam room and we all went to sit down. Uh, the steam was particularly dense and I didn't see anything much further after that. I just heard Mr. Garrow shouting, but we all ran for the door and bumped into each other. I was very alarmed by this point. What did you do? Well, the door was stuck. And with all the steam, it was quite frightening. I was barely able to see my own feet. Garrow was covered in blood. Do you believe that Garrow killed Sir Rodney? Oh, no. Garrow couldn't harm a fly. Worst orgy ever. Oh, really? Does Can you recall like any recent event that would occur to you now as being 
a little strange. Well, yesterday we had a small argument. Is that all? He's being so upfront no. about all this. Sir Rodney informed me that he was to attend the London Archaeological Congress with me. Then he advised me of quite the opposite. And rather aggressively, too. Do you recognize this ring? Uh, certainly. It's the famous Aswan ring. Sir Rodney brought it back from his last campaign in Egypt. And he kept it for himself? Sir Rodney has uh, had his own particular ideas of archaeology. He didn't think everything belonged in a museum. He just took it for himself. What can you tell me about Garrow? Well, he always looks so sad. And uh, he has been acting strangely lately. He complains about voices and visions. I will keep an eye on him because I'm worried. He's been taking the St. John's route, Wart. Mm -hmm. How well were your researchers progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather well. Liar. Pickin? Yep. This letter reveals that Sir Gregory was prepared to put a stop to your work. Uh, yes. But since Sir Rodney's arrival, he had calmed down. He allowed us to work. Uh, I'm not sure what they agreed on. Hmm. What will happen now that Sir Rodney is dead? Well, I haven't thought about that. Uh, but if it's needed, I will fight to defend Sir Rodney's expectations. We discovered some melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? No. Silver, you say? No, I don't know how it got there. That's got to be the weapon, right? It was a curved blade? Yeah, I guess. Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? No, I did not. No. All right, we should Carol. have asked him if he did the murder. Yeah, we never asked any of them. <laughs> That's the first thing I'd ask. All right, so we have some things to connect. We should connect them at the end of the uh, interviews. Yeah. Garrow. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. It sounds so sinister. Mm-hmm. A good day to you. Everything My is name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Ah, uh, 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 I am Tristram Garrow. This guy, this sh fucking shit heel did it. Look how guilty he is! Nope. Look at him! Look nope. at that tiny pea head! That's a guilty man's head. He does kind of look like he has a pea head. Like one pea. Mm, badly shaven. This guy's a creep. Poor dude. He's just stressed out. Perspiration. Suspicious. If this was eyes. a real life, like, show, uh -huh. he'd be played by the guy who plays Chubbs in Game of Thrones. Which Chubbs? Bookman. Uh, Sam Tully? Yeah. He'd be played by that actor. Sam, that's not his last name. Samuel Turley? Superstitious, all right. Tarly. I hate that character so much. <laughs> yeah, you do. I, God, I hate him. I don't really mind him. What is your occupation? I don't like uh, him. I, I am a councillor at the uh, district chamber. And what were you doing at the baths? Well, I, I follow the researchers. I am uh, I interested in, in archaeology. You follow them? Yes. So many things happened, and w we need to know. Or perhaps it's better hidden. I beg your pardon, Mr. Garrow. I, uh, I, I meant nothing, but by that I, I apologize. He thinks they're better hidden? The treasures? Mm -hmm. So he caused the collapse, probably, somehow. Maybe. What was it like to work with Sir Rodney? It was like uh, working w with a genius. He was a hard man, but then, you, you know, this world is hard. There are always people who want to 
steal from you. And he, uh, he, he trusted me, but, uh, oh. Are you feeling unwell? Oh, I'm sorry. He is I. Oh, I remember. Oh, I, I feel so sorry. Do you need anything? I, uh, I, I, I feel bad. I, uh, I, I hear... No, nothing. I, 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 I'm better now. <laughs> Please try to recall what you saw today. The room was so, so hot, I, I had to remove my glasses. I was not feeling so very well I in there. But you found the body. I saw the knife, you know, flying through the air. I, I, I saw the blood. I tried to escape. I, I don't remember. You saw the knife? What did it look like? Everything was as if I in a nightmare. It all happened so fast. The knife was shining like, like gold. So he saw the knife fly through the air? That's what he says. Hmm. Hmm. He's not feeling well, huh? Would you mind if I had this egg salad sandwich in front oh. of you? Oh! <laughs> like the time we went to the movie theater and the woman beside me ate a tuna sandwich for, for an dessert, hour and a half? I'll have tuna salad. <laughs> had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Well, he, he had been rather secretive these past few days. Last Thursday, for, for example, I, I saw him leave. When he returned, it, it was very late. He showed me some wet coins, Roman coins, and uh, he started to laugh. Who? Sir Rodney. Rodney. His ring! Oh, it should be destroyed. Why do you say that? It is a cursed ring, digging dark secrets. Really? I, uh, it is after me now. I know it. Uh, I shouldn't have worked on it in the workshop. It's too late now. This is the coin that, that he showed me. It is from the third century. It must be very rare. No, I, 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 I don't know. We should follow that line of thinking on the ring, <laughs> but there's no more options to yeah. talk about the ring. Thank you. Thank you. This will help me to calm down. Do be careful with the dosage. I, I will. I mean it. We discovered some melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? It didn't help. The power is too strong. Oh, buddy. He did put it in. Yeah. Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? What? No. Garrow appears to be rather mentally disturbed. Either that or he is a good actor. All right. When we come back, we're going to try to make the connections for what we've learned so far. Maybe come to some sort of a trajectory as to where we're going with all this. Stay tuned. Video Games Awesome Live continues with Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishments Awesome. <laughs> 